Although I didn't actually meet Caruso, I had the audacity to write and ask him for one of his caricatures, and that was when I was 20 years old. He very kindly sent me a real beauty, which of course I still have. Yes, I've seen it. It is marvellous. Um, do you think that Caruso was all that legend made him, has made him? Was he as great as people think now? All and more. There never has been such a singer, and I, I'll say that against anybody. I heard him twice in Rigoletto, in the Huguenots, in La Boheme, uh, uh, and in Carmen and at the Albert Hall, which he filled easily and without effort. Yes. Uh, did he have Scotty singing with him at the Albert Hall? No, it was a baritone friend of his who was more or less an amateur and not very good. Yes. But, of course, Caruso carried the concert. Oh, yes. I remember this baritone sang the prologue de Pagliacci and he joined him in Solin in Questora. Ah, yes. That was magnificent. Yes. And, of course, it didn't make too strong demands on the baritone. And it was very effective indeed. I shall never forget the way his voice swelled on the repeat of the refrain. Yes. Absolutely, he's as though he were inexhaustible. Now, I think we're going to play a record of an aria you heard him sing, uh, O Paradiso. Oh, yes. Um, o Paradiso, I think, was the best of his records. And I remember his performance of it at the Albert Hall. <laughs> 